All right, well, the deep freeze across Texas causing issues not just to homes. If you have not seen these pictures, you've got to come to your television screen. Vehicles encased in ice. This is an SUV in Galveston where we think about the beach. Look at the bikes on the back yeah. while a oh, pipe man. burst. What are the chances your car is parked right there where it just froze it and completely solid? Temperatures dipped down to a record 21 degrees on February 15th, helping uh, form massive icicles and encase these cars, Jen. Yeah, this icy situation is a reminder that winter can wreak havoc on your car or truck. So joining us live to talk more about winter car care is car coach Lauren Fix. Always good to have you, Lauren. So what are the top Thanks, steps Jessica. to, to keeping your vehicle running well during these winter months? Well, I have a brand new Bronco Sport here, and so everyone's thinking, oh, it's a new car. I don't have to do anything. You kind of do, believe it or not, because the cold does not like batteries. That's like the number one thing that the cold does is it kills batteries. So even with a new vehicle, if you're having trouble starting it, if it's new, you can call the dealer. They'll take care of you. But if you don't have a newer vehicle, which not everyone does, first thing you want to look at is engine oil. If you're not running full synthetic, which not everybody does, it can actually freeze. If that happens, you're going to have to wait for it to warm up. You can't just start the car. You'll damage the motor. And the same thing goes with coolant. If you've been adding water, you think, oh, just any coolant, if that freezes, this radiator will not cool. It won't even run. And then you're going to have a big engine problem. So what I always tell people is, at least keep a half a tank of gas in your vehicle if you know it's going to get cold. Like we are, like the weather show is always telling us, hey, it's going to be cold. Get yourself some fuel line antifreeze. There's a couple different brands out here. I just grabbed a Tecron, but you can put it in, add the fuel on top of it, keep at least half a tank of gas. But I do want to uh, address what people should do, because a lot of people are confused about who does this work. I'm not touching this car. My car is covered in ice. What do I do? Uh, you need to find an ASC certified technician. If you can't find one, there's an app called Car Advise. You can find one in your area. They're, they're a great resource to have because you can book it all on your phone, and they can probably have to tow that car away. Oh, that's away. good. That is really good. Yeah. Lauren, yeah. before we get to the next I, question yeah. real quick, um, are those cars ruined that were completely encased in ice? I'm just curious. No, no, it's just not going to be fun. You have to wait for that ice to melt. Oh, okay. And if At least it doesn't really ruin the car. Bad, bad, it, no, you have to go to, you'll have to call a mechanic. They'll tow it away in a flatbed and put it in a building and let it thaw out. With, because it really doesn't make sense. Unless it's going to be, you know, temperatures are always changing in Texas. But if it warms up and it all thaws, wait till it's completely thawed. And then yeah. you're going to want to check all those fluids. If you don't know what you're doing, again, that's why you find good mechanics. Yeah. Uh, one thing I want to address, we were talking about this. And this is a wiper blade straight up. I'll tell you why you do want to put your wiper blade straight up, if your vehicle allows for it, is this. When it's icy out and the ice hits your windshield, if you don't have an ice scraper, people use all kinds of crazy things. To scrape off the ice, you can use your credit card. Never, ever use hot water. But the myth is people say, oh, don't put the wiper blades up. What happens is if you go to scrape it, you can damage the wiper blades. They're not that expensive. But here's the worst part. If you think it's free and you use your wiper motor and the wiper blades don't move, you can burn out your motor. Again, mm. oh. giving yourself more expenses. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks for clearing that up. We were wondering about that, Lauren, yeah. the car coach. Yeah. Always glad to have you. And is that the new Bronco, by the way? Yes, it's Thank beautiful. You. Yeah. Cool to see. This is the new Bronco cool. Sport. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Super cool. Super cool. Thanks for showing us.